Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, how to send smart form PDF as an email attachment. And in the last video, we finished with all the steps for the same. Now what we will do, we will learn everything in that debugging mode so that if some confusion is there in the steps, it will automatically clear. Firstly, we will send the mail to our within SAP itself. Then we will go for external recipient. So what I will do in this our program, I will comment firstly this GUI download portion because we are not downloading now. We are sending the mail now. I will comment the portion for external recipient also because firstly we will test the SAP recipient then we will come on to external recipient. So I will comment this part also. Then we will uncomment. One by one we will check. Now I will put the breakpoint on the first executable statement. I will put the breakpoint suppose onto this SSF function module name itself. I am running the program. Suppose I am giving order number one. I will give some dynamic text anyways it's option we want to give or not. I am executing. Desktop three most preferable desktop. We are passing the smart form it will give us the function module of the smartphone. I am doing F6. So we got the function module of the smartphone. Now I am doing F6, F6, F6. Now we are calling the function module of the smartphone. I am doing F6. Now we got the OTF with the help of this function module. We are converting the OTF to PDF and we will also also get we will also get a binary file in which format X string format. Just see as of now this is blank. But the first step for this process get the binary file of the smartphone. If I will simply do F6, we will get the binary file of the smartphone. You can see we got the we, we got the binary file of the smartphone, but it is in which format it is which it is using which data type X string X string. This is your X string. Just see it is X string. Type is X string. Now we will convert X string to binary. So first step done. Now we are passing X string and it will pass or it will return in the binary format. We will get a binary table. Just see binary table zero records as of now. Now I am doing F6. So we got that data in which format? Binary format. Just see, we have the binary internal table. Previously we have X string. Now we have binary table, binary. Now, now we will go for next step. First two steps over. Next step, create the send request. So we are using which method create underscore persistence persistent and it is returning this object. Just see this object is blank as of now. Once this method will call the object will create. I'm doing F6. Have you seen if I will do F6? You can see the object has been created. Yes. Now 
now we are creating the user we are creating the sap user so with the help of this class we are we are with the help of this class we used which method create to create the sap user just see object is blank as of now once i will do f6 you can see i will do f6 the object is created the object is created now now we are calling which method add underscore recipient through what object object is created yes if the object is created can you call the method add underscore recipient yes because it is an instance method and we are passing the object we are passing the object of sap user done so we have done with the we started the request process we added the recipient now we need to go for content we need to go for document now so what we are doing we are firstly going for dear sir we simply simply append it to this internal table how many record dear sir one record now next record we are appending now we have how many record two records dear sir below is the attached pdf now we are going for third record where third record in the internal table thanks and regards but the fourth record in the internal table the fourth record is my name so we have four records in the internal table now we simply simply gave the title what is the type what is the document subject what is the document subject order details and what is the what is in this internal table this is the body of the internal table and what is the document classification row just see this object document class object is blank as of now once this method will call the object of document class will create and we are passing the subject of the mail we are passing the content which are in the body of the mail and we are using which method create underscore document now i will do f6 you can see the object created so this particular step also over create the document now we need to add the attachment attachment so what we simply simply did this is our order number and what is text hyphen 005 order number column we are concatenating so what is lv underscore subject order number colon what is the order number now this is your subject this is your subject of the attachment title of the attachment this is your contents have you seen in the previous step we have the binary contents in the internal table and what is our attachment type pdf we are using which method add underscore attachment through what object is the object created yes if the object is created can we call the instance method yes we can call the instance method so we added the attachment done now now we have two different classes one is cl underscore bcs one is cl underscore document underscore bcs now we are linking these two classes this is the object of bcs class this is the object of your document class yes and we call which method set underscore document it is a instance method can we call through object yes because the object is created done so link linkage between the two classes done now 
the object is created can we go for set send immediately yes we are setting it to true now we are going for send now just see as of now the result is it will return the result if it is returning capital x it means send is successful now you can see we got x x means true it means send is successful anyways in our current requirement commit work is not required because we are sending within sap but still we have written no problem so commit work is done now next most important point whenever you want to send the mail in your sap inbox in your sap inbox we have a transaction code sbwp business workplace sap business workplace it's a transaction code anyways it's related to workflow but whenever you want to check check the mails in your inbox i'm talking about within sap so you can go to this transaction code so if i will go to this transaction code i will show you you will clearly clearly understand now i this is my inbox this is my id business workplace you can see that title bar also business workplace if i will go to inbox have you seen i am getting one unread document i will double click and you will understand fully now we have a unread message and just see what is the classification raw if you remember during the code itself but the classification of the document we gave raw raw if you see and it is coming here raw now if i will check now what is the title of the mail what is the title of the what is the subject of the mail order details and this is the attachment and you can see but the contents we give this is the subject of the mail these are the contents of the mail you we gave all those things whenever i will double click and show you the attachment just see is this your attachment title yes this is our attachment title order number colon what is the order number value and it is in which format pdf i will click just see it is our pdf so this is what we send yes we send to our inbox sap inbox in the next video we will send to our average send to external recipient or external email address also so what is the summary of the video in this video we understood the full process in the debugging mode in our current we simply firstly send the mail to sap inbox yes and whenever you want to check your inbox the transaction code is sbwp sap business workplace there you can check your mail and we checked everything was there mail subject mail body whatever the pdf attachment title was there whatever the pdf is there we are able to check each and everything in the next video we will simply go for the external email process how to send the mail to external email or outside sap so that's it in this video thank you